Greetings, Saints. This is your rector, the Reverend Tom Sramek, Jr., and I'm coming to you from the storage uh, closet for our uh, food pantry, and I chose this particular location for two reasons. Uh, one is it's warm and dry in here, which it is not outside. Uh, it is wet and cold outside. Uh, and secondly, because I wanted to uh, highlight the fact that this coming Sunday's Gospel uh, reading is from uh, the Gospel passage where it talks about John the Baptist as the one uh, crying out in the wilderness pro proclaiming uh, God's salvation and saying, prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. And it is also the theme of the Sunday is the theme of peace. And it is the peace, the shalom of God, that we strive for, that we uh, desperately long for in a time of conflict and a time of violence and a time in which people are very unsure what uh, the world will be like in even a week or two or three weeks, much less a year or two or three years. Uh, and so we uh, come to this coming Sunday's service uh, knowing that it is a dark and cold and difficult time in the world, but also knowing that God's work continues. This food pantry is a sign of God's shalom, of God's work in the world. Um, your donations and those who come and uh, share in the work of the food pantry are purveyors of God's shalom in the world, God's peace. Uh, and that little sign that God has not abandoned the world, uh, that God has not simply set us aside and gone off and to do something else, uh, that uh, hands and feet of Christ that hand food to those who do not have it show exactly what the message of Advent and the message of Christmas is, which is that God has not and will not abandon us, and in fact, God... Um, loved us so greatly that he sent his son uh, to be in the world, Emmanuel, God with us, uh, so that we would not be alone, so that we would not be without hope, uh, and so that we would know God in a real, new, and different way. And so as Christians, we celebrate the fact that not only did God come down as Christ 2,000 plus years ago, but also that God in Christ comes down here now in the power of the Holy Spirit as we uh, give and serve and love and care uh, for one another and as we um, come into a relationship, into communion with Christ uh, through uh, the Eucharist and through loving one another as Christ loved us. So I invite you to, as we approach this coming Sunday, as we uh, hear from Jim, our deacon, uh, about peace, about shalom, uh, and also as we uh, go get ever closer to celebration of Christmas, I invite you to think about and pray about uh, where perhaps in your own life um, you may be in need of shalom or healing, uh, where in other people's lives that you know, uh, when where they might be in need of peace or healing, uh, and commit them to your prayers, at least for the next several weeks. Uh, and also, perhaps, if you know anybody that uh, is in particular need of that sort of peace that passes understanding that God promises us, uh, perhaps invite them to come with you uh, to a service, uh, to either one of the Advent services or uh, certainly, especially, uh, Christmas Eve is a wonderful service for people to come and um, be a part of that special night. So I invite you to invite others. I invite you to come and be a part of uh, the service on Sunday. Uh, we will not be having uh, an instructed Eucharist as previously uh, as previously advertised. Uh, we're going to postpone that to the end of the month or uh, perhaps to uh, the beginning of January. Um, tune in uh, for an update on that. Uh, but we will, of course, be having our usual service, usual Eucharist, uh, and we invite you to come and be a part of that and to experience the shalom, the peace of God that passes all understanding. God bless.